but they have adjusted it so that money trickles right back down the river down to the uh, Manhattan and into the lower. So basically, uh, they're, down they're they're grabbing up most of the money uh, through formulas, and that's yeah. and who creates the formulas. That's the secret. The, well, no, well, yeah, there's part of it, but the it's your government officials and and the Senate and the Assembly they approve all those things, and it's through the math. It never comes out clearly that the money is being sent wherever. It's driven by formulas. And the formula heads downriver. That's what it appears for many yeah. years. And uh, of course, they're cutting, cutting, and cutting. I and again, that, is, that isn't just, just education. That's your townships and your colleges and so forth. Well, they have a huge number of people on welfare in New York City, they tell me. And that's. We do too. We've got to take care of it. Well, we're getting more and more on Chautauqua County because there is, and we are incidentally, not only are there more people needing public service up here because there are no jobs, and fortunately, Obama has continued the unemployment, which is helping, but eventually that's going to drive. We're going to have everybody who's going to be on welfare up here. In the meantime, our health care is running rampant. Our uh, costs for uh, Medicaid, Medicare, Medicaid, Medicare is for seniors, folks. Medicaid, which is the uh, insurer of last resort. Mm -hmm. And more and more people up here are finding their boss is no longer going to insure them or that they're going to have to pay a higher percentage of their insurance or their uh, benefits have been cut. Right. And so before you know it, you're on Medicaid, baby, if you, if you have a serious illness. And uh, the, st the county is paying for this. Sure. Well, we have certain uh, coverage and roofs on it. But uh, this is the only state, I think two states in the country, that saddle the local county with half of the New York State Medicaid bill. Most other ones, the state covers them because they have the broader taxability. Right. I don't so we got, know. So we got a lot of layers of issues here. Yeah, that, and especially in Chautauqua County. Right, and, and you know, I, I think about this from time to time. Maybe, I'm sure you do the same in our, our viewers, is where's this all going? And, and I'm thinking, this is just my thinking, is there's gonna be like a resettling of everything. I don't know if that means there's going to be uh, contractually things are going to change or there's going to be uh, give backs or there's going to be something going on across the whole country. You know, something is like everything was skewed too far in uh, lots of programs. And I think it's got to come back to more of a reasonable point. I'm not sure. What do you think? I think you, I don't I quite. There's got to be a change. Right. We know that. I don't know what will happen. Uh, I keep getting emails, throw them all out. Let God separate them. And let all new people and let them know if they continue their behavior of their previous rich and powerful. Right. You know, that's the problem is your Congress and even the state is made up of rich and powerful people who represent rich and powerful right. people. You know, 90% of the wealth in this country is owned by 2% of our population. Mm -hmm. That's one of the big things that's going to have to change. You know that. Right. And so uh, you're right. There will be a change, a settlement, as you say. God knows how it'll be. It'll probably be, we, well, in this country, as they say, it's bullets or ballots. Well, they've taken the bullets away. Yeah. Basically, you don't have any more weapons. Um, I want a bazooka, as a matter of <laughs> fact, but at least a 50, uh, 50 caliber. Howard's bazooka. Uh, Howard's a cannon, but they won't let me have it. And uh, they won't even let me have a little machine gun anymore, you know? Um, so it's got to be the ballot. And uh, the ballot, unfortunately, you've got to be rich and powerful to even get on the right. ballot. Yeah. Uh, so we've got to change that somehow. Mm -hmm. And I, I guess uh, what I would do is uh, I would only uh, nominate people who, are, who, are, who take a pledge of poverty like monks do. <laughs> you know, I, pro I, I will be <coughs> impoverished the rest of my life. I will not. I'll give up all my money to charity that I have. And that will, that well, let's good. go back, though. If with that theory, though, it's just like your school board members. If, if you have that, how, who's going to run? How many monks do you know? Well, <laughs> there's got to be some incentive there. Uh, school board members aren't necessarily super rich, though. But congressmen you're, are. You're saying take a vow of poverty here. Congressmen are. Well, we could make it, you know, adjust the poverty. You could, yeah. you could still have a fifty oh, thousand right. income right, or something. Right. You know, so you're not and you could keep a hundred thousand, keep a hundred thousand <laughs> tucked away just the way okay. Medicare, Medicaid All lets right. you do. All right. Uh, Powers plan. <laughs> yeah, you go to the Medicaid plan. You can keep have eighteen hundred dollars a month okay. income, and mm -hmm. you can keep a hundred grand. And uh, kiss your ass goodbye. Otherwise, <laughs> excuse my French. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. John Hamels, what? noted educator, helping us out here. His answer to the problems is that very simply, there's going to be probably more restrictions, more cutbacks in the schools, and uh, at the rate things are going. He also tells us there's going to be a giant, what was it, resettlement? I think there's going to be a shifting. There's going to be yes. a resettling of everything. It's got to. Something's got to give Some, here. Something's got to give, right. and we just can't go on like this. Uh, <laughs> we're plunging deeper and deeper into poverty and debt. 
uh, what's going to happen to the federal government? They're in, in, they're in the hock for so much money that there's no hope of our grandchildren paying it off. That's another problem we have. You know, look what happened in Greece now. Yeah. Gee, they, they, they're, they're just a bankrupt country at this right. point. The drachma is uh, dropped. Right. Well, as I said, I think there's going to be lots of there's going to have to be some cutbacks. Something's going to give here, and I'm I'm not going to even pretend to have the ability to think about this at the moment. But I mean, just from a common sense point of view, whatever it is, something's going to have to major shift, and it, and it may be a very gradual thing over the next five, ten years. But I don't I don't think life is going to be the same as we knew it five years ago. But just things are different. And we're going to be we're going to be poor. We're well, going to have less food, less uh, yeah. other things, less shelter. Everything is going to go back to where uh, we're back to the I mean, 30s. Yeah, yeah the 30s the depression during the years. depression years. Yeah, yeah we'll be gonna... selling apples on the streets. You know, I got an apple tree out back, so that that'll help. You're all set. Yeah, I'm all set. But you know, let's if we could just wrap this for a minute. I want to go back to something you announced earlier okay. about today's rotary auction, which is like a good thing. A, a good thing. thing. A good thing, and it's a great thing. Uh, I'm uh, the secretary of the Rotary Club. Oh, are you? I, yeah. didn't, I didn't even know you well, were a member of the Rotary Club. You did a good job. Yeah. Actually, you'll be telling me you're a Mason or something. Uh, uh, <laughs> that too. But anyways, <laughs> folks, if you want a fun night tonight. Tonight. Now, this tonight. is today is May, May 15th. 15th. At 5 o'clock, we have tickets at the door still, so it's available. Think about this. For $10, you get a Chevetta's chicken. You get f free beverages at the bar. I believe there's beer and soft drinks. Free beverages? Well, it's part of your ticket. For the $10? Yeah, no, hang on. I'll be there. <laughs> All right. Is there, there's a limit on the beer? Uh, until you fall down, we will. you out. fall down. All right. <laughs> there, you get, that's for your $10 ticket. Also, for your $10 ticket, you get a chance to win $500. A one, one prize, $500 is being given away tonight. Uh -huh. Got to be there to, to win it. And the third thing is your ticket gives you the, the opportunity to bid and I think we're probably somewhere over 100 items, about 60 things in a silent auction where you, you put your number down on a little piece of paper and you're bidding on like these leaks, I bid two bucks, okay? And then he says, no, no, those are great, I want, I'll, I'll put three dollars. So this is going on throughout the, the live auction. And the live auction is gonna be great. There's things, there's packages for golf, cor uh, golf courses. There is something going down for a package for uh, some time at Quell Hollow, I believe that's in Ohio. Uh, well, some folks are giving out a, a what do you call it, a, a timeshare down in Florida in the month of November. And guess what? You're not going to believe this. Uh, myself and my, uh, my fellow musician, Bill Drello, and I, we're a duet. We've been playing all over the place. We are going to offer two hours of our own music. Oh, really? At your house? Uh, no, whoever's house they, they oh, really? want us. You, uh, you get the highest bid. We'll come out and play for you folks for two hours. Two hours. Celtic music, folk music, pop music, contemporary music. You do music. Danny Boy? Uh, no, that's an American version of an Irish tune. But we do <laughs> that of the Dubliners and the Clancy Brothers and stuff. Okay. And also, I just want to plug the group, is to say if there's any not-for-profit that's uh, listening right now, we are uh, available free of charge. We're more than happy What's to come What's the name of it? Uh, just call me at home. Just look me up What's your phone. number? 736-4255. There you okay. go. You want a free band? What's the name of the band? It's just me and Bill. Me Bill and Jello, Bill. Me, me and Bill. Bill. Okay. And uh, we'll come out and we'll play. We already were, uh, played for Comp here over in Jamestown and we'll be happy to do that. And uh -huh. just one last thing is here in Westfield, not, we're in Mayville, over there in Westfield at Sapor, once a month we've been doing open mics there and it's a lot of fun. Terrific. Anyway, Great check out the old Rotary Auction tonight. The Rotary Auction good tonight, May 15th, the community. 5 o'clock. Go down and have a ball. 10 bucks a person. And have your dinner, have uh, all the beer you can drink. I'll be there. And soda and everything. Yep. How can you go wrong? That's a great deal. I love it. You know, I just got this, this strange sound, John. Yeah, it's in the leaks. <laughs> We're out of here. We're out of here. All right, uh, I want to give you, uh, oh, say a half minute, just summarizing. Go ahead. I just want to encourage people to get out and vote next week. There's hard decisions to be made. Support your superintendents. Support your school boards. Try not to get too angry at them. They're doing the best they can. They're taxpayers like you and me and Reed. And uh, try to come out to the road. Okay. Auction Do not forget the order auction tonight. Do not forget to vote next Tuesday. Most elections will be next Tuesday, right? All of them. It's by, uh, all of them by for, law. for your school board. Budget. Okay. I want to thank some beautiful people. Chuck Kelsey. Sorry, last caller. We didn't get you in, but we'll get you in next time. You come back. <laughs> you, yeah, might, maybe. <laughs> you never know where I'll be. I want to thank Devin Taylor, Chris Burt, Chris Ramaker, Mort Flexer, Randy Burt, Roy Harvey, Jeff Zook, and last but not least, Don Zenz. All those people who called in and all those lovely people at home, have a beautiful day. Get out and dance in the sun and start putting your plants in. It's now safe. All that is proud and true may it be with you. I'm Reed Powers. <laughs>